Hi, my name is Lucas Ridley with digitalcreatorschool.com and I wanna help you save hours of time and just show you how to round trip from the new MetaHumans in Bridge to Maya, animate it, and then back into Unreal Engine to see that animation in Unreal and render in Unreal. So let's get started and let's jump over to Bridge very quickly where we can see that I've already downloaded the character. So that's step one, obviously. And then uh, you know you can get to the download settings here. And what you wanna make sure that you do in the model section so that you can actually bring this into Maya and, and on a side is Maya is the only DCC package that you can actually bring in this control rig into. Um, so you have to have U asset plus source asset on. All right, that's the, the main thing when you download it that you wanna make sure that you have on. There, there's a lot of gotcha moments in this process and it took me a while to figure out um, how to get this working. So once we have it downloaded, then we can export, but we wanna make sure before we hit export that we have the export settings correctly uh, chosen. We want the export target to be Maya and we want Maya to be open, okay? And if you haven't installed the plugin, it will uh, pop up here and say, you know, do you wanna install it? You wanna install the plugin. I've already got it installed and um, it, I don't think they have it working yet in Maya 2022. So you need to have Maya 2020 um, or earlier, I think. Uh, but I, we're using Maya 2020 today. I'm sure in the future they'll have it working for Maya 2022. So, okay, we got that. And then when we hit export, it will send it over to Maya. I already have it up in Maya. So let's jump over to Maya. So here is what you get. If you don't see the textures, here's another gotcha moment uh, in this process. You want to make sure that you have your, uh, you wanna make sure you go to your preferences and go to display. And then for viewport, you wanna make sure it's on DirectX 11. That's how you can see the textures in the viewport. Otherwise, that's not gonna work. All right, so the next thing is, you can animate here. I've, I've set up my viewport here to have a different camera. Um, and here's a, another little fun tip for Maya. You can actually turn any camera into an orthographic view. If you go down in the camera attribute settings and actually there's orthographic, orthographic views and you just check this box. That way it'll be a lot flatter and you don't have the distortion of the lens uh, for this GUI dedicated camera. So I have a uh, two viewports up here and that's how I like to animate typically if I have a GUI like this. So two panes side by side and then uh, set this one just to be dedicated to the GUI and then in this one I can rotate around and make sure that the the character is looking good from all angles um, while I'm animating. Okay, so you've animated. Now we wanna bring this animation into Unreal. So th this is where there's not any documentation yet on this and it took me a while to figure <laughs> figure out. But thanks to at Epic Chris, he is a technical uh, animator at Epic Games on Twitter who uh, responded to me and gave me the clue into how to get this thing exported properly as an FBX to bring it back into Unreal because all the traditional stuff, game exporters send to Unreal, none of that's gonna work. Um, this is a new method specifically for metahumans where these controls are actually geometry. Um, so that's another little quirky thing that I, I wish wasn't true because when I, when I like to animate, I like to click this little button that says, hey, I don't wanna select any geometry so that I don't ac accidentally select the character or anything else in the scene. But if you do that, then you can't select the GUI. So that's one little thing that is a different for my workflow that I, I wish those were NURBS surfaces or something. But uh, anyway, and this could all change in the future, but you know, as of early release of this stuff, this is how this is working. All right, so what we now need to do is to export this out, is go to the face controls, right click and say, select set members. And that's what we wanna export as an FBX. So if I go to file, export selection, I want to make sure that I have the, the preset Autodesk Media and Entertainment. I had messed with these settings. I don't, I don't even know what I had done before, but they, it wasn't working um, until I went back to that preset. So make sure you have that preset. All right, next thing. So we've exported that. Now let's go back into Unreal, bring this in, in into Unreal. So we're on, in Unreal. This is actually the template project that they provided like in February of, uh, of this year of 2021. And so I just wanted to use, take advantage of the lighting here um, 
And so that's, that's why I'm in this project. But let me just start a new animation sequence so you can see it kind of working from scratch. I'm gonna right click and say new level sequence, double click on that. And then we need to bring in this character who is already in the level. So, um, you know, you'll also have to export the character into Unreal. So you need a, a instance of Unreal open. And then from bridge, you need to click export. So you, you would need to go back to these export settings, choose Unreal Engine with Unreal open. You want to make sure that you have the correct, you know, project low, uh, direct directory chosen and all that kind of fun stuff. And then export this. That's how this character gets in into Unreal is it export it again. All right. So once it's an Unreal, I just put it in the level so that we have it in the world outliner. And then I can just click and drag it from the world outliner into this new level sequence that we added. And then this is the other <laughs> thing that took me a little while to figure out is you don't want to right click here, import the FBX here. You don't want to, you know, right click here, import the FBX here. We're only right clicking on the face control board and we get this import control rig FBX, which is a, a kind of unique uh, thing here. And then just navigate to your FBX that you saved, hit open and we'll get a new uh, option box here. And here's another gotcha moment. If you don't do this, it won't work. All right. So, and, and I'm sure maybe this will change in the future because I don't know why this isn't just chosen default, but you have to choose meta human control mappings. If you don't do this, only about a dozen controls will come in. This, this was <laughs> another thing. I actually stumbled on this by accident. But um, now when we hit import, all of the uh, animation should be on our character. So there it is. That's how you do it. And in, in this example that I'm going to show you, I just used the uh, animation that came with this template for the body, uh, for the body motion. So I was only doing the facial animation in Maya, which it was a lot easier for me being a Maya animator to animate there, bring in that animation into Unreal to render. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, if you want to learn more about Maya, I have a huge 25 hour long class. I also have a bunch of smaller Maya classes at digitalcreatorschool.com. I also post a lot here on YouTube where I'm trying to. Um, if you want to learn more about facial animation specifically and maybe have like an uh, animation masterclass, let me know if you're interested in that. So without further ado, here is the lip sync animation I did to some audio from an interview with the actress Jamila Jamil uh, on an uh, episode of Jimmy Fallon. And um, I did this because I wasn't happy with the results I was getting from the Live Link face app. And so I wanted to do some keyframe animation so I could see how quickly I could animate hand keyed animation lip sync and just how the rig worked inside of Maya specifically. And so I was pretty happy with the results. Um, yeah, again, if you wanna see more about that, maybe I could make a whole class about my approach to animating lip sync. Um, you know, this isn't perfect <laughs> by any means. It was 500 frames animated over a weekend. So uh, there's there's a lot I would still do to it, but I wanted to call it done just so I could share it with everybody and, and move on <laughs> to something else. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Well, I started a movement on Instagram called I Way, uh, but which is just a movement that is for female empowerment and just general empowerment where you you measure your worth via your attributes and your contribution to society and you weigh the sum of all your parts not pounds and kilos you can't measure a woman's worth on a weighing scale that's ridiculous so, well i started a movement on instagram called i weigh uh but which is just a movement that is for female empowerment and just general empowerment where you you measure your worth via your attributes and your contribution to society and you weigh the sum of all your parts not pounds and kilos you can't measure a woman's worth on a weighing scale that's ridiculous <laughs>